everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good day. Hope you are all having an amazing day today. My name is Lex and welcome back to some more GTA 5 where today we're going to be looking at some more big wheels, wide wheels, small wheels, just wheel size changing in general with V-Stancer because there are more cars that I want to see with different size wheels and all that sort of stuff. And that's actually today why I'm starting off in the Sultan RS. So before we get into the rest of the video and start tuning up all these cars and seeing what sort of awesome uh, stance, uh, looks, whatever, I don't know, let's just play around and see what sort of cool styles we can get by changing wheel sizes and wheel width, mostly, is what I want to do in this video. Uh, we're going to check out some comments on the screen. These are comments featured from the previous video. If you would like your comments featured, you can leave them in the comment section below. I'll pick some at random and feature them at the start of the next video. And don't forget, you can also follow me on Twitter at figure8. Links for my Twitter are in the description below. And don't forget, you can also follow me on Instagram, underscore figure8. Links for my Instagram are in the description below as well. Right, so let's just go down to here. I think there might be a noise from a helicopter. But it's fine because I'm just going to go ahead and blow that up so it doesn't annoy us for the rest of the video. There we go, that should do it. There we go, that's done. Right, so let's park up. First of all, we need to fix this thing. There we go, that's much better. And so, let's give V-Stancer a try. Let's just try and get this in the sun a bit more. There we go, that's better. Right, so I'm actually... I'm just going to go ahead and just modify this first and then we'll come back and just worry about changing all the wheel sizes. So, uh, let's go. Okay, and we're done. So I haven't really gone too crazy. I've gone for like a vented herd. I've gone for the carbon fiber with the vortex generators on the roof. Gone for a nice simple rear bumper, some skirt extensions, and also some arch extensions as well. Seems we're going to go for a wider wheel this time. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm not really going to change the color of the paint because I already did that before we started the video. So with the Sultan RS, the wheels are already pretty fairly sized. Normally, as you've seen with the previous video that I did on this, I reduced wheel size in most cases because I wanted to get it lower. This actually has a really decent wheel size from standard, which is why I have to go crazy because we've got to make something that's really different, something that you'd never be able to get before. So let's first of all, let's just go for wheel width because I want to make this pretty intense. Although it would help if I had put on some custom wheels. I'm an idiot. Of course, that is the first thing we have to do. If you want to get this to work. Yeah, I probably should have done that first. And well, it didn't take me very far to find what I think are the perfect set of wheels for this. Wheels number 82 from the Law Friendly Wheels Mod Pack. That is gorgeous. And in gold, works really nice with the orange still. So, yeah, let's go for gold. Right, so let's try that again. Let's go for the width. Oh, and there we go. Look at that. Look at the dish that we're getting now. Oh my god, this thing is going to look absolutely insane. <laughs> If you look from the back, these wheels are just way too wide. This is definitely going to be very sort of arcadey in its style because it's just so out there. But I really wanted to see what this looked like with a really super deep dish wheel. In fact, if you go back, you can really see that that like little lip there has really stretched out. And it's really made the tyres stretched as well because normally it just has a small stretch. And that makes it really <laughs> stretched out. Okay, I'm going to go for that size right there. And for the wheel size, we might be able to benefit from going slightly smaller. Or maybe even slightly bigger. But bigger would just make this look really stupid. But, I don't know. Let's go for the bigger wheel first. Because I'm quite curious to see how this will look. And then we'll probably just revert back to some smaller wheels in a second. Right, there we go. So, we're going to go for some visual lowering just to get it up there. Yeah, this is going to make the car really high. But, I don't know. <laughs> This thing just looks stupid. Right, so let's get it back to about there. So we've got like some poke. No tread sticking out the arches, but we will have some stretch and the uh, wheel sticking out. And then we'll go for the same on the front. That same look. There we go. Like that. So it's not like flush with the wheel. This is just like stretch. And it's just flush with the tread. Uh, so you can actually sort of skirt the legalities in many countries, including the UK. Uh, where a lot of people used to have super stretch wheels to do this. Because it was the tread that you couldn't have past the arch. It said nothing about the side wall of a tyre or the rest of the wheels. So that's how people uh, often circumvented that. I don't know if that law's changed. That's quite an old thing people used to do. Uh, so yeah, with the bigger wheels, it's definitely going to look really weird. So 
Smaller wheels it is. So there we go. I think that's pretty close to the standard size that we had. Maybe even slightly smaller, but I think that's going to work. So let's just go for that and change the uh, collisions on the front and rear wheels. It's really annoying that I can't use my normal camera mod for this. Because, uh, as I pointed out in other videos, when you do that, I have to use the arrow keys. And that's what changes the whole um, angle and stuff of the camera. All right, so let's get that down to there. And then do the same on the rear. There we go. That's that done. Now we can go for some visual lowering. Now we can get it looking sweet. Look at that. I might get this so that the stretch is actually just sticking in a little bit on the rear. In fact, as it's turned out, I've ended up making it flash with the wheel instead of the uh, tread on this one. It just looks so much better, I think. It's quite an old style. Maybe we can get that because actually the arch and the angle of that tire match up perfectly. Look at that. I'm trying to get this. is really awkward to get this camera right. Yeah, look, can you see that that line carries across to the uh, tire sidewall as well? Yeah, that's going to be, that is in the stance rule book, I guess. And then front track width, and I'm sure you guys are probably going to uh, find this quite annoying. <laughs> or you're going to hate the star, but whatever. Oh my god, that is super low. That is super low. I should probably make the wheels slightly bigger so that the um, bodywork doesn't scrape along. But as it's only visual, it's actually not going to scrape. So, yeah, I think that one perfect. Maybe I'll just go for a slight rear camber just so we don't get that glitching through. And there we go. There's that build done. Obviously, as soon as I drive, the tire goes through, but in static form, that is pretty mad <laughs> looking. Yeah, definitely I'd make the wheels just slightly bigger so that it's a bit higher because that's actually just like not even realistic anymore because that's just pretty much in just going through the floor. You can see on the front there. Yeah, that's that's not exactly right. So actually, next up, what I want to do is a standard Sultan. Because obviously that doesn't have the arch extensions and stuff. But I thought I'd grab a standard Sultan and uh, see if I can't make it look a bit more like the RS with some wider wheels and see how that turns out. So let's do it here for a change of scenery. And uh, s at some point, I didn't notice it, but my menu crashed and I can't access it anymore. So I'm going to try and do the rest of the video with the Enhanced Native Trainer. This could be interesting. Someone's going to go for fix because I actually smashed that up. Actually, do you know what? This is a terrible space because there's way too much grass. Let's just move up to the garage. Okay, so here we are with a stock Sultan. And this is the four-door as well because uh, the Sultan RS is actually a two-door. Although, there is a four-door Sultan RS in the Vanilla Works Extended Mod Pack. In fact, here it is. I've just spawned it in. There is the four-door version that you get with the Vanilla Works Extended. But I'm just going to go for the four-door standard Sultan with this build. Right, so I'm going to fix that up and just run through the modifications, try and add that. There's not really much I can do to this, just a couple of small spoilers and stuff which don't really suit it. So I'm going to keep everything pretty much stock and just change the wheels and the paint, I think. And uh, just noticed that now that we're not using menu, I can't access the law friendly wheels. This has completely screwed everything up. So uh, I'm going to try and just do this build with what I've got and then I think I'm going to, for the next one, I'm going to have to restart GTA because yeah, without menu, I am lost. But let's just go for the Wangang Master for this one. Okay, so I've gone for a candy red paint, and I'm just going to keep the wheels stock. Let's just go ahead, and all I'm really just going to do is just make the wheels wide. And, uh, yeah. I, okay, that might be a little bit too much, because this one doesn't have the wheels that sort of... The tyres don't sort of stretch out like the other ones do. Uh, obviously, this might just be because these are the stock wheels, and these aren't the law-friendly wheels ones. This is just going to be with the stock wheels. Uh, I guess it's worth trying these out. And we'll go for a smaller size. That might be a little bit too small, but I think that might work. Let's just go ahead and change all the uh, collisions there. And let's just bring the track width in. There we go. On the Yeah, okay. With these standard wheels that don't have that sort of dip, like stretch tyre thing on it, this is definitely going to look kind of weird. This just shows you how little I use the normal wheels because yeah, I'm not used to them looking like this. Okay, so I've got a bit of camber there, and I've moved the suspension up just slightly on the rear, on the front. I think I'm going to keep it pretty much exactly like that. So, it's a simple look. It's not as crazy as the Sultan RS, but it's still a Sultan that's slammed with wide wheels. I think that works. I mean, it's, yeah, it's definitely not as good as the RS, though, but yeah, that's not bad. Right, I'm going to restart GTA 5 so we can use menus again. And then move on to the next car, because I, I think I might make this a tuna special and just go for the cars that are sort of like related to tuna styles. Because uh, I, I just think this is a good theme to go for for this video. So, yeah, let's see. Okay, here we are back in GTA 5 with working menus. Oh, 
That's better. I feel at home now. I felt lost without menus mod. I don't know how I'd cope if anything ever happened to that. Right, so here we are with the Hakumai. This is from GTA 4. This is another tuna style car that I think might look pretty nice with some super wide wheels. So let's jump in and see what sort of mods we can do to this. There's not really much we can do. It's just pretty much wheels, isn't it, with the Hakumai? Man, there really needs to be some tuning parts for this. Right, so let's go for some sport wheels. And yeah, as you can see, the wheel looks a little more stretched out. And maybe it might have just been that style wheel that I picked, because that one doesn't have it. Yeah, it definitely depends on the style of wheel as to what sort of tire wall style you're going to get and what stretch. So I'm going to go for, actually, maybe I'll go for 83. These are some old school wheels. It's a, supposed to be some sort of like old school Japanese car. So... That might work. It's definitely going to have to be smaller, though. These wheels are a little bit too big. So, actually, this sort of... This is quite interesting to look at, because normally you wouldn't be able to change the size of the wheels. And I'm going to go for... Oh, I might go for something like a pink. <gasps> and then make the car blue. It's it's an interesting thought. It's, it's, uh, it's a gamble, but it might turn out all right. And this does mean that I am going to be changing the bottom half color as well, so... Ooh, actually, what was that bronze back there? Gold? I mean, that's probably going to be, if I didn't have the blue, that would probably work with another color, like white or something. But I might try and see what this looks like with the full racing blue. That's an interesting look. I've got to say, I'm a, usually more of a fan of the two-tone, but that could work. I might just go for ultra blue all round. Yeah, as it's been the theme with all of these cars with this mod is just like the crazy the better. We've we've got used to the stars that we can do. Now we have to go crazy. So I'm just going to go for the full blue, even though I probably would prefer the two-tone. Uh, but let's just go mad. So let's go for the V-Stancer. Go to tires. And let's just change the wheel size first so we can get that all right. I want to go for some nice, small, old-school style wheels. So we'll uh, reduce that size, I think. That might be the right size. That might be what we're looking for. We just need a lot more width to it because these are really thin. And there we go. Super deep dish. Ooh, this is this is interesting. Right, I'm going to go for that. It's a shame, again, as I've said, that we can't sort of stagger these front and rear. We can only change the width of all four because it would have been nice to have the fronts just a little bit thinner. Because uh, really the, the back this is what I'm basing this on. Right, and then let's just go and change all the collisions and stuff as well. Move that down to about there. That should be fine. And let's just go to the suspension. Visual lowering. Knock that down. We can get that quite low, I guess. We can even get that low on the front as well so we can get some nice forward uh, rake. I still can't remember if that's... What's reverse rake? Is reverse rake the rear down and rake is front down? I think that's what it... Uh, I've got a terrible memory. So let's just go for a bit of rear camber. As you do. <laughs> And that means I might actually change the collisions of the tyres just so we can get that camber looking a bit more realistic as well. And let's get that track width out to about there. Visual lowering. Bring that down. Yeah, let's get that flush. Bring that track width in just a little bit. There we go. That's the rear sorted. That's going to be the winner right there. And then on the front, front track width in. And just lots of front lowering. No camber. Nothing like that. It's just going to be a street stance look. And there we are, down on the front. That is pretty mad looking. I'm sure some of you are going to disagree, but I'm going to say that's, that's again, the, when I say these are mad looking, if this turned up at a show, you would pay attention to it. Whether you like it or not, you'd pay attention to it. Attention is what I'm looking for with these videos. So, well, not generally. Well, in general, just because I think look, show car is probably the uh, what I'm thinking of. Most of these builds are normally aimed at show car stuff, something that's visually good. So, yeah, that's that sorted. I was just going to do the uh, thing on the rear, wasn't I? Just to make that up just a little bit so that the uh, camera looks a bit more realistic. Yeah, there we go. So, it's actually sort of like uh, touching on the right-hand side of the tyre and then keeping that left bit up off the ground. That's what I'm trying to do there. So, yeah, that's going to work, but we will need to make that slightly higher on the rear now. So, let's just go for some rear height like that and a little bit up on the front as well. And there we are. There's that build. Done. That's pretty slammed. Pretty stance. Pretty crashed it. it didn't take me long to crash it. <laughs> and there we are. You can let me know what you think about that one in the comment section below. But let's now move on to the next one. I'm going to go modern tuna sort of like... Would it be a boy racer? 
you know, like, first car cheap rubbish sort of thing? That's the theme I'm going to go for the next one, because I want to try out the Assayer. Let's give this a try. Okay, and here we are. This thing is ugly, cheap looking. It looks like a cheap, sort of like a cheap Korean car, something like that. General Motors, maybe. Really thin wheels, really high, bulky looking. Really high doors, I've got to say. This, this has a really high door line on this car. Just your general crappy car that you might have your first car and you still want to modify. And so that's going to be the thing for this one. So I'm actually going to make this all sticker bombs. This is going to be like a, if a 17 year old had a stanced out assayer, what would it look like? Let's go for that theme. So let's build this up first. Okay, and here it is finished. So I've just gone for the full sticker bomb as much as I could. I know that it doesn't really have any sort of extra splitters and stuff, so it's not going to look great, but as I've said, this whole theme for this one is probably like 17 year old's first car going mad and uh, he wants to have some sort of like show car, but obviously can't afford it. So uh, as kids do, they just cover the whole thing in stickers and a bonnet bra. And uh, in this case, I'm going to go for, even though this does actually look like some sort of split rim, it's supposed to be like banded steels or something like that because it's like sort of like a cheap way to get wide wheels. Right, so let's just go to V-Stancer tires and wheel width straight away just so we can get these super wide and there we go look at that that is insanely wide for an assayer at least it's not crazy i mean i could go crazy and do that which obviously just looks a little bit stupid but we can get to like there and it doesn't look too crazy because we will obviously be using the track width to bring it all in and on the wheel size uh well we could actually leave it like that but I could go for some small steels and make this really slam down. And that seems to be the general look I'm going for lately. I'm not sure if you guys are getting tired of that, but I'm not. So I'm just going to keep going. And let's go ahead and change all the collisions. There we go. Front and rear. Done. Right. So let's go for the rear track width. Bring that in. And we're not really going to worry about camber. I think just that is going to be fine. There's already a tiny bit of camber on it just from the looks of it. So we'll keep it with that. And then the same on the front. Again, as I've said, I wouldn't have these like this in real life. And if I had the choice, I would make the front wheels thinner. Because obviously you wouldn't be able to turn uh, with the front wheel drive wheels just that wide. That would be insane to drive like that. Uh, although I'm sure some people have attempted to do it. So let's just go and slam that down. That's going to make this thing stupid low. Look at that. Maybe some of you guys would enjoy that. Maybe you guys are the right age that maybe you'd be into this. But that is insane. I'm, I've seen some sort of cars that have had sort of like modern cars that have had these really small looking wheels and slam like that. It's definitely a style that people have gone for. So we'll go for that. And then on the front, just trying to get this in just a little bit more because I lowered it down just a little bit too much. And I think that is done. That is really sort of this whole thing is really so I haven't changed the engine or anything like that. But I have gone for a big fart box at the back. And there we are. A stanced, a say, well, it's not, well, is it stanced? Well, I guess any sort of look is a stance. That's a stance of some sort. That is a stance of some sort. Uh, but it's lowered with wide wheels version of the Assayer. There we go. <laughs> right, let's try something. We've we've done three tuna cars now, or oh, actually four if we include the two different versions of the Sultan. Let's now try something completely different to end this video. I really want to try a van. Let's give it a go. Okay, here we are with a burrito van. This is the fart gas van. In fact, I don't know if we can change the livery. I think we can somewhere. What other liveries have we got for this? Uh, Los Santos Water and Power. We've got that is supposed to be, I think, Atomic. Yes, yeah, because it's in white. Need to change that. Or McGill Olsen Construction, the original cowboy builder. I might just go for the, uh, the Atomic tires because I guess... Because it seems to be changing the wheels. Why not go for a tyre company? Uh, but we do need to change that from white. And as it's a van, I figured I'd go for the utility. And I'll just go for a utility. Pearl steel. Just no shine to it. Anything like that. In fact, the roof has got all this sort of like uh, rough looking texture to it. Plus it's got the ladders and stuff on the top there. That's going to be perfect. I'm going to do a start out work van. <laughs> well, I could actually make this a lifted one. Seems if we've done so much stance. I will actually make this one lifted 
and sort of like an off-road version. Yeah, how about that? Let's go for that. Let's be different. So now let's just go for the wheels, and we're going to go for off-road, and we're just going to pick a random one. Something we can get looking nice. I mean, these with the big chunky tires are going to look good, because they've got slightly smaller wheels on them. Yeah, big chunky tires. I think that's going to be the winner, but I might have to change the color, although I think they're chrome, aren't they? Yeah, okay. Let's try and find a non-chrome version of them. There we go. There's the non-chrome version. And we can make that either black, or we could try and go for... Where's the green? Something like an olive green? Uh, okay, no, that looks a bit rough. Let's just go full black on that one. So let's get a V-Stancer suspension menu. Let's just go for visual lowering first, and just crank it up as high as we can go. Just to see what sort of... Okay, we can go to there. Right there. <laughs> can I make these wheels fit? Because I know that actually I've been playing around with this. After a certain point of changing the wheel size and then trying to get the collisions right, it does make it all glitch out. So we might find where our limits are in this. Okay, that's going to be about right, but I'm going to have to perhaps make them smaller so that I can get this working here because that's going to be... Ooh. It's going to be close. It's going to be close to get that to fit. I mean, these wheels look way too thin right now. We can change that in a second. And then the same on the rear. Get that up. There we go. Because obviously we want the knobbly bits to be touching the ground and not the rest of it. Yeah. Okay, that's not too bad. Let's go for the wheel width. And make them much bigger. There we go. It's an interesting look. But, yeah. I, th I think that can work. That's definitely the highest we can go, though. Any more than that. Maybe we can go higher with the, um... Not the cam, but I'm touching the wrong one there. With the, just the normal... Okay, no. Okay, it breaks. It breaks. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Okay, it's it's all gone wrong. It's all gone wrong. Yeah, as I said, um, <laughs> it's all gone wrong. Oh, boy. Well, do you know what? As a rough idea, there's your look. Um, but normally, I yeah, let's just, let's just lower this down. Let's just get another one and stance it out. Why not? Okay, spawned another burrito, and it's turned up in red with the water and power livery thing. I might just keep it exactly like that and just go ahead and change the wheels and just try and stance it. And here's an interesting look. I might go for these because it's quite a, I don't know, it's a style that sort of just goes with the van, but because they've got the chrome lip around it and everything, they're gonna be wide, it's gonna look pretty, pretty snazz, I reckon. And I'll even have it in red to match the paint. Right, so these are definitely gonna be way too big, I think, when we start getting into the width. If we want to get this low, the wheels are gonna have to be smaller. Although just the wide wheels there, that doesn't look too bad. But we want lows. I want lows, so wheels are going to have to get smaller. That might be a little bit too small. Oh, let's give this a try. All right, so the front radius, let's get that right there. That should be good. And then the same for the rear. That looks like it's on the ground. That's cool. And then visual lowering. Bring it all the way down. And then we want to go for some rear track width in. Front track width in. Obviously, it's really hard to see with this because it's a big vehicle and we can't use the uh, camera mod. And I'll go for a bit of rear camber on the rear, as you do. Oh, yeah. I'll tell you what, this is actually making me think it's like the uh, dodgy van, but this is not a dodge van. Uh, but we could actually make a, a, a dodgy van style vehicle. But we're just going to use the burrito for today's video. Because, yeah, I think this is actually turning out alright. And I'll go for a bit of poke on that one so we can get the arches sort of like um, flowing with the with the tire tread as I did with the other build. And then we go a little bit low on the front because I think we can. And I think, I think that's it. I think that is all done. What do you reckon? Maybe you guys are going to hate it. Maybe you guys are going to love it. But that is a stanced out van. Oh dear, what am I doing? I'm going for another car there. Look at that. That's a look. I definitely think I could probably get that in. I tried to get that flowing with the uh, arch thing, but I think it's not really working. So it's going to go rear track width in. Yeah, that's probably going to work better. There we go. And that's that done. Working and driving. Right, well, there we go, guys. That's going to be it for this video. I think I've done enough for this one. It's already really long. Uh, so again, if, you've, if there's any more cars that you would like for me to do... Just like changing the wheel size, make them wider, make them bigger, smaller, monster truck, any of these sort of things. Give me some ideas in the comment section below of vehicles that you would like to see me try this on. But apart from that, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye!